when you release music on DigitalKid, do you have to create an account for Spotify and iTunes, Apple Music, Amazon, et cetera, et cetera? Short answer, no. This is a question I've been getting a lot, and this is a great part about DigitalKid. I will say CD Baby and TuneCore and other music distributing services do this as well, but essentially, when you release your first ever release on DigitalKid and you send it out, DigitalKid approves it and packages it and sends it out to all the services, what will happen is each service individually will realize, oh, this is a new artist. Okay, we're gonna create an entirely new account for them. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do, like I've done a bunch of videos about, is upload your music on DigitalKid, pick the genre, give them the title, upload the album artwork, upload the file itself, of course. You click send and DigitalKid does all the rest of the work. One thing I do have to say though, as kind of like a final side note is this. While yes, you don't have to do anything. You just send your music out and each individual service will create an artist account for you. Just pretty much, it depends on the timing I will say, but it happens rather quickly. The tricky thing is, is if you want special access to that platform. What I'm talking about is for the big platforms like Apple Music, Spotify, uh, YouTube, et cetera, et cetera, Amazon's another one. You can get a special access to the artist section where you can personally see your streams, your analytics. Where's your music being listened to? How many uh, guys versus girls are listening to your music? What is the age ranges of people listening to your music, et cetera, et cetera. These analytics can be very useful. Unfortunately, which is kind of annoying, you do have to individually sign up. So I personally had to go to Spotify, sign up for Spotify for artists, and then Amazon Music for artists. And then I had to create a YouTube channel to do the YouTube OAC to get an official artist channel on YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. That is one thing I will say, but one thing I definitely have to mention when it comes to all those analytics is if you don't care, you don't have to do that. Remember, you don't have to know your analytics if you don't want to, I will say, if you do want to take your music seriously and start kind of planning out a tour or you're just big on the numbers on the back end, yes, I think you should sign up for those. But the good thing is if you don't care, you don't have to. All you have to do, release your music on DistroKid. Again, every single platform and service will create that artist profile for you automatically. And then from that point out, any single time you have a release, it will automatically go on each individual artist profile on that platform.